Hey, how's it going, you obnoxious Oma Stars? Today we're gonna playing some games with Blissey. Um, I don't have too much to say on the deck. This is the kind of the list that I have put together and played around with so far. Um, I tried out the Wishful Baton build initially. Didn't seem great. It was hard to trigger the Wishful Batons or get the Wishful Batons to trigger. Um, so I went for kind of like some more consistency engine in here with the Salazzle. So we just try and pull off welders uh, consistently throughout the game. One card I would maybe consider adding into this deck would be a Pal Pad, so we could just get more welders back. Um, but yeah, this is basically the deck. Uh, you get a lot of energy on Blissey, or as much as you think you're gonna need. And then you powerful slap, flip some coins, uh, reflip with the Victini. Uh, we got the one, two, or two, two with the Ditto Salazzle line in here uh, to get us to draw cards throughout the game. Uh, three fire crystals to keep that engine rolling. Uh, and then we got the support Pokemon, the Dene, Marshadow, Layla. I don't really mind having the GX Pokemon in this deck because our price rate is usually so favorable with the Blissey. So I feel like it's okay to have the GX Pokemon in here uh, on the bench, even if they're going to get picked off. It's okay to give up like the two prizes that they would give up to keep our deck consistent. Um, so yeah, that's all I got to say on the list. Uh, let's go ahead and get into some games. Getting into our first game here, we are going first as well. It's pretty cool. It's always cool to go first. Let's see what we're playing up against here. We got the double chancy start, which is also super nice. I'm not going to bench the other one down just yet. He probably will make his way to the field, but never know. He might not. Eh, very unlikely, I guess. All right, playing up against Blastoise. Um, always an interesting deck to play against. All right, Flipteeny is in here. So is 1-1 one -one Salazzle. We definitely want to set up the Salazzle as soon as possible. We'll see. I think I'll just go ahead and Lily for four here. Got the Salazzle and a Blissey for next turn. Um... Uh, Want to keep the fire to use on Welder, or probably with the Salazzle, actually. And we're going to go ahead and pass over to our opponent here and see what they got. Yeah, we'll probably be using that uh, Roast Reveal next turn with that fire energy. See some more cards. Definitely want to see some more cards, yeah. Roast Reveal and probably the Triple Acceleration to knock out the Squirtle or whatever else our opponent sends up. We have Victini in the deck, so... Um, Go find that guy as well. They are playing the Nine Tails build, so that'll be some potential cheap prizes to pick off later in the game. Is that Nine Tails? Uh, they play the Whale Lord as well. I guess that could become a little bit of an annoying threat. We got to make sure we keep stuff evolved. Um, as far as the chances go, they do have 100 HP. We can also put our Mew in play at some point because uh, we will have Victini plus Salazzle for sure on the bench, which is two prizes for our opponent. So we'll definitely want to um, definitely want to. Get the other thing down. Whatever I was just saying. The uh, Mew probably at some point. Mew to protect our bench. We'll see how the prize trade starts playing out. But yeah, Mew on the bench sounds pretty good to me. We'll see. There's the attached to the active. Burn a lily. So the Squirtle will be running away probably to the Vulpix. We'll probably just want to go ahead and evolve, evolve, attach triple, and then let loose. Um, Ultra Ball away the Poke Gear plus the top deck. Maybe the Fire Energy if the top deck is cool. We want to keep it um, and get let loose. They got an eight card hand plus Beacon for two. And that'd be another Pokemon down on the bench that has basically no HP, which would die to the Whale Lord eventually. So we we'll definitely want to also probably uh, protect that. We could also go with Guzma Knockout Squirtle. That would like for sure set them behind a turn. Um, so we could go Ultra Ball, Lele, Guzma Knockout Squirtle. Um, that would for sure set them behind a turn, and then we could look for Let Loose on the following turn, but I don't know if we'd be able to find Let Loose for sure. And us setting up like a big Blissey to deal with the big Blast Noise also sounds really good. So, yeah. Getting a lot of energy on a Blissey to deal with a Blast Noise GX sounds pretty good to me. So I think we should go with Let Loose here. We'll see what our top deck is. It's a DCE. Hmm. Hmm. So this guy evolves for sure. Could go with the Guzma. <clears throat> Could just go with the Let Loose, go with the Guzma, catch the triple hold there, Guzma, knockout. But I'd rather like Welder to the Chansey on the bench, I think. Could Welder to the active, DC to the active, and then off to the Welder, Let Loose. That actually sounds pretty cool. It is just one, but I still like the idea of it. And then we're going to check one of these for a Guzma. Oh, no, not a Guzma. Why do we check this? We didn't need a Guzma here. We're going to go with Let Loose here. Knock out the active and Let Loose. We already played the Welder. All right, I'm losing my mind. All right, so we wasted a Lily there for no reason. Um, 
Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking there. <laughs> Wasted a Lily. That's fine. Go ahead and let loose here. We set our opponent's hand. Should just got rid of both Pokey Gears, probably. Uh, we did hit, hit Heat Factory and Dedenne. Don't really want to use Dedenne. While we have Rosh there's no reason to put the Heat Factory in play. Unless we draw another fire and want to draw some more cards, which is uh, possible. Which is something we'd possibly want to do. I'm going to go ahead and Nest Ball for the Victini. Because you never know when you're going to start whiffing flips. Uh, we have a really good chance of not whiffing here, but you really never know. So, powerful slap. Alright, we hit one. Uh, nope, no reflip. Knockout in the Vulpix. Now, this Blissey is very set up, ready to go. Um, three energy on it. We definitely want to get this one just as set up um, and ready to go. Um, so we can just start keep punching through. Um, and even if a nine tails, yeah, see, if we put the heat factory down, it really would have done nothing. Would have just like wasted a heat factory. If this becomes a nine tails, we can just go ahead and throw the triple on there. And then probably go with the Dene, but I really want to put Mew in play. I'm kind of scared of this Whale Lord. Um, it's not super realistic for it to be set up out of nowhere, though. So yeah, I am, I am like scared of of the potential of the Whale Lord. That is for sure. Jet guys are here from our opponent. Um, send up the other Blissey, I guess. That'll have to do. I would have liked to have kept this Blissey in the active, but whatever. New Blissey to the active. Here we go. Um, but also like another set up another chance. I don't know. There's a lot of things I want to set up here. We'll see what happens on our turn. There we go. Blastoise and Nine Tails, but the Vulpix will be getting knocked out. Um, Brooklyn Hill, nothing for us to grab. I think I will. It's an awkward hand because we drew a fire crystal now as well. But I think I should probably play more aggressively than not. Uh, I don't want to put the Dene in play because I'd rather put the Mew in play. So we're going to go ahead and Roach reveal that one to start with. And then we will throw this down. Ultra Ball away. I think the Dene and Ultra Ball actually, or uh, we could keep the Ultra Ball and get rid of Salazzle to Dene. Yeah, I guess we don't really need those guys anymore. Go ahead and get ourselves that Mew to protect our bench from the potential of the Whale Lord. Just want to get it down now. I don't want to worry about it later. Uh, go ahead and Lily for four. Um, got like one more fire in there, so we can heat factory at least once here. Two, three. All right, got some more options for next turn, and then a powerful slap. Go ahead, only need one heads. There we go. No need to reflip. Knock out on the Vulpix. So they do have the nine, but they got nine tails blastoise, but we did get the knockout on the Vulpix. So they're not gonna be doing anything for a while here. Um, as far as Blastoise Blastoise is being made, I don't think. I mean they could have a candy in hand and then just gotten the nine tails hoping the Vulpix survives. That's actually like kind of a reasonable play. Yeah, okay, they did have the rare candy in hand. Alright, so now I gotta deal with this big guy. Um will be fine though, I think. Just the attach to the Articuno and then a Cynthia. Sure. Sounds fine to me. Um, so we do want to find. Uh, we need another crystal. Fiery Flint would also be kind of cool. So we get some fire energy in hand. Either of those, really. Fiery Flint or. Uh, we need to build up a big Blissey to deal with that guy. We want to try and one shot that guy in one hit. Or we could like KO Articuno, Guzma KO Volcanion, Guzma KO Lele. That would also be reasonable, I guess. Depends on what our uh, opponent actually gets going. They don't have a whole ton going here. That Let Loose really did quite the number on their hand. Um, they've already used their Lele, so yeah. The Let Loose did quite a bit. Um, super effective Let Loose there. All right, here we go. Draw. Okay, that's what I wanted. Fiery Flint. Gonna get rid of Ultra Ball and Lele. Get all the fire energy out of our deck. Um, so here's a, I don't want to welder to this. I would actually prefer to triple this guy. Um, so we're going to draw a lot of cards here to try and find that triple. And then we want to use the welder later. But it looks like we have to welder here. Which is okay. I just didn't want to do it like this. There's the triple, but we're not going to use the triple now. We're going to use triple fire. And then go with the powerful slap. We need two of uh, three heads, but we can reflip uh, if we want. We could have put the DCE on to make this a little bit more likely. Uh, there we go. Knock out on the Articuno. Yeah, because we want to set up um, another. When this guy gets knocked out, we want to like welder to another Blissey on the bench. We're actually about a deck out. 
Um, so we're gonna have to like shut it for three to make sure we don't deck out here. We're very close to decking out. We've drawn a lot of cards um, over the course of this game. Yeah, very close to decking out. But I think we'll be fine. We're gonna knock out the Volcano, and then our plan is to Guzma knock out Lele to close out the game here. They'll eventually have to go into Blastoise. They can't keep using Articuno and stop us from using Guzma, so they will have to go into Blastoise at some point. Um, and then we'll either try and build up a massive Blissey, or we'll just try and take the knockout on the Lele. Most likely just try and take the knockout on the Lele. Um, we do have Welders left, right? Yeah. There should be at least one Welder left in these five cards. We may be prized the other one, but that'll be, that won't be a big problem. And then we can Stretcher for three, probably get back the Blissey line, plus the... Probably the Dedenne. I don't know. Maybe the Lele. The third, the third card might not be super relevant, so... There's the communication. No idea what they're gonna grab. They could have another candy blast, so it is gonna be the Articuno. So they might be trying to stop us from being able to go Guzma on the Lele. We could go Guzma Lele this turn, but then we might have to deal with the blast size next turn. And I think we're down a Guzma, if I did remember correctly. Okay, no, we actually might have the second Guzma in the deck, actually. So we maybe have access to everything to go knockout, knockout. But the, the Articunos don't really one shot us, so I think we can just go. We have, what, three triples left total? Yeah. So I think we're in a fine spot to play it out as Guzma KO Lele on the following turn. We'll see what we draw. Welder. Okay. So we can go bench the Chansey. Fire Crystal for three. Welder. To the Chansey. One, two, three. I'm going to go ahead and throw a basic fire on the active. Um... Kind of want a fiery flint away. Let's get rid of Ultra Ball and those. Let's see what's left in the deck. It's just a pokey gear. So we're out of Welder. There's one in the prize cards. Which we might be able to draw here. We're going to go ahead and shuffle three, I think. Going to get back this, this, and I think Lele is probably the best way to go here. And then a powerful slap. We need two of four heads and we can reflip if we whiff. There we go. Two of four. No reflip. 160. Knock out the baby Volcanion. And then we're just going to look to Guzma knock out Lele next turn, I think. I think that's going to be our game plan. Uh, we could go all out to try and kill the Blastoise, which might be the attacker. But it looks like they're going with the Articuno, which is definitely fine with me. Because that means it's going to be easier to get more energy. Or it'll give us like a turn to build up a ton of energy on this Blissey. Um, so yeah. They're going to go ahead and hit us for 70. Probably move them back to the Blastoise. And then we'll be able to build up a ton of energy on this one as well. We can put the DCE there. We'll hold on to all the triples. And then we'll have two Blissies with two Fire DCE, um, and then we can look to go like Welder plus a triple if we want to one if we have to one shot this if we like, can't find Guzma or something if they let loose us or judge us. Um, but the most likely route for us to close the game will be Guzma knock out one of these small things off the bench, and this one should be pretty close to being closed out. Yeah, the let loose this whole game down to pretty much game came this whole game pretty much came down to that early let loose that we used um, uh, once they used their beacon. Uh, really destroyed their opening hand. Um, wasn't impossible for them to recover, but the Blastoise deck is a little bit clunky, and they had a pretty solid start with the uh, they had like a hand of eight from Lily or something, and they had two off the beacon. So they were looking to put together a pretty powerful turn, pretty powerful follow up on the following turn. Um, but we handled it pretty well. Hit him with the let loose. Yeah, pretty easy from there. Let's evolve. Can't Guzma. Can't. Don't really need to do anything else. Powerful slap. Just need two heads. We can reflip if we have to. Nope. There we go. Keeping it 50-50 out here. Getting the two heads uh, pretty much every time. The one time we had three, flip, three coins and needed two heads. We had two tails into two heads. So yeah, keeping it pretty 50-50 out here. Blastoise finally makes... The big Blastoise finally makes its way to the active. I think a little bit too late. There's a Squirtle City on the bench with just the 50 HP. Which we should just be able to knock out with an easy powerful slap with 7 energy. Uh, we'd have to hit 14 tails in a row to uh, not KO the Squirtle. Maybe it'll get candy to a Blastoise, in which case we just need two heads on this Blastoise with the powerful slap to take a knockout. So looking super good for us here. And yeah, the best our opponent can do is candy the Squirtle um, and judge us, make it as hard as possible for us to potentially get a knockout on the following turn. Never ended up being able, never ended up like getting close to probably using the Mew, but I want to get him out early just in case. You never know how these powerful Squalls are gonna go. Um, like this one right here where they just got what four or five energy. Yeah, geez All right. Yeah, so stuff like that can happen all the time with the blastoise deck So especially when they sometimes get out the two 
blast us with a powerful squall. You never know how much energy they're going to be able to play in a single turn. Um, as that one just hit, what, four or five energy off one squall. And here we go. Knockout. Goodbye, Blissey. Um, like I said, shouldn't be a big deal. We now have access to be able to Guzma whatever we want. Because our opponent did... Um, can get rid of or is no longer has the Articudo in the active, so it's gonna be an easy triple acceleration. Guzma Squirtle here. And uh yeah, I mean it's possible for us to whiff, but pretty unlikely. We'll see how this first powerful slap goes. Alright. It's happening. Nope, there we go. A couple heads are coming in now. A lot of heads, no reflips, and goodbye, Squirtle. 320 to take him out as we take this first dub over the Blastoise deck. Thanks to the, the homie let loose there. To another one here, we are going second. Uh, we have a really good opening hand. We got the Lily into Welder plus a Nest Ball and an Ultra Ball to find two Pokemon. Resetting whole Marshadow probably means we are playing against Zorark. Usually, that is what that means. Is uh, Zorark is on the way? Um, not played in many other decks, but sometimes there's a Grimer, so that almost means for sure we're playing against Zorark. Um, we have to deal with that shutting off our Victini. Hopefully, not too big of a deal. Uh, we'll see. Um, and most of the time, the Zork decks these days don't play their own stadium, so we are probably not. We're going to avoid putting our own stadium in play, so that way we don't give them a way to like kind of move this guy out of play. Keep them trapped in play until they put the muck in play, and then they can't use the resetting hole, which means we're like free to go ahead and put our stadium in play. But the, a lot of times, this is the only way for Zork decks to remove Prism Stadiums. They usually play this guy plus two field blower. Sometimes they play like a one of... Uh, stadium card, but I feel like it's been getting less and less recently. All right. So I don't want Ditto here because they are, they do have the potential for a turn two muck. Um, go ahead and get rid of these two. Get ourselves another Chansey. Yeah, so we don't want to get what's it called, the Ditto. If we draw into the Ditto, we will bench it. Um, but I don't want to like aggressively find him. Go ahead and get ourselves another Chansey. And then we have Welder plus that. This seems good enough to me. Yeah, I think we just hold the hand here. Another fire, a fire off the top deck, or like a fiery flint off the top would be great. Um, but if we don't get that, that's fine. We'll be doing just fine with the current hand, I think. And there's a Lele from our opponent. See what they're about to grab with it. Judge would be a little bit annoying, but I'm sure we could recover just fine. Now, if they have Judge plus Muck, um, that's where we might start to fall apart. But it is a Cynthia. Whew, good to see that. Much rather see that than a Judge. Uh, our hand is pretty good. We got the two Blissies, uh, Energy plus Welder plus a Triple. Um, we just kind of want more energy at this point. So like I said, like a Fire Flint or a Fire Energy top deck would be great. It looks like a very slow start from our opponent. And we can go ahead and get out uh, Triple Blissey, which is uh, pretty good, if you uh, ask me. Um, could go with the Let Loose here. I think Fire Crystal for one is just fine, though. Keep having these Fire Crystals for one. Let's go ahead and throw that on the active. Maybe swing harder with the active on the following turn. Okay, there's the Fiery Flint. That's what we're looking for. We can Fiery Flint away. Nest Ball and Marshadow next turn. We could just not knock this thing out and just hold on to this. I actually kind of like that a little bit more. I think we're just going to pass here. No need for us to really knock it out, so why knock it out, right? So yeah, we're not going to knock it out here. Look for a bigger knockout on a Zork or something next turn. They did, unfortunately for them, with all their Zoraks on their last turn. Uh, they pretty sure they would have evolved this to a Zorak if they had had one. So, Lily for two as a follow-up to not having a Zorak in play is definitely not good. And the only way they can retreat this is with DCE, and they already have two DCE in play. Um, so, yeah, we can just sit here and, like, build up Blissies with Welders. That is, like, fine with me. We don't have to be super aggressive. Just put some Welders in play on the Blissies. Build up the Blissey's big, so that way when the Zorks do make their way out, uh, I can deal with them pretty easily. All right, yeah, Flint. We're going to get rid of Nest Ball and Mars Shadow. Get four fire. We could Welder to the active one this time now, and then go ahead and swing. That seems reasonable to me. I'm okay with that now. We don't want to take forever and give our opponent too much time, so that's fine if we swing now, I think. Go ahead, do a Roast Reveal, draw some more cards, we'll just give ourselves some more options. Alright, go ahead and attach to Bench Blissey, and then a Powerful Slap. Just need one heads here. Why not get to a Goodbye Marsh out of this? Uh, does free up our opponent's bench, like I said, it's like, we don't want to do that, but, I don't know, getting the knockout here seems a little bit more valuable. 
a little bit more value out of the knockout than not. So getting the knockout here is okay with me. Uh, they don't have muck quite yet, so we could still look to get the Victini in play if we need to get if we want to play for those reflips. Uh, but we'll go with six energy on this Blissey next turn, I think, to try and get this knockout, and then we'll weld her to the bench Blissey. There's a Kakui from our opponent. <laughs> They're getting real desperate to find a Zorg. There they finally go. There is a Zorg from our opponent. And that's ball to back it up as well. Fill up their bench again. All right. Good for them. They finally found what they've been looking for. Oh, a Rock Ruff. Okay, that's actually pretty annoying. Lycan Rock can one-shot a Blissey with the uh, Claw Slash. I don't think we're going to Guzma the Rock Ruff up, but... Rock Ruff, uh, or Lycan Rock, definitely uh, harder to deal with than a Zork. Zork can't really one shot Blissey, which is super nice for us. So yeah, definitely harder to deal with, um, but like not too much, not too much more difficult. We should still be fine. I'm confident we still will still have this one pretty much locked up if we just uh, can take. If we don't get too unlucky with the powerful slaps, if we don't get too unlucky with the powerful slaps, I'm confident we will be just fine. All right, so we're running out of welders here. They chose not to attack there uh, for whatever reason. Yeah, I'm not sure why they just chose not to attack there. I'm going to go ahead and hit a Roche Reveal here first, and then probably bring those back and then welder them. It's our third welder. Oh, there we go. We drew the energy instead, so that's even better. Yeah, I'm not sure why they chose not to attack there. <laughs> I don't think I don't know if there's some game plan behind that or what. Um, definitely seems not beneficial to me, but uh, we'll see. Here we go. Powerful slap. We need three of six here. Ooh. All right, definitely a reflip there. Same thing, three of six. Starting off the same. Oh, evening up. Oh, all right. Only 160 for this guy. Unfortunate. Did not end up in our favor there. Oh, well. Have to work with it. I mean, that's the, uh, the ups and downs of Blissey for sure. Sometimes you whiff the, uh, the one shots. The price trade is usually still so favorable that it doesn't matter if you whiff the one shots. Um, at least once. Sometimes twice, but twice is getting a little bit... Uh, Risky, I feel like most of the time you generally want to be hitting the the follow up one shot. We could have gone with like a Guzma triple knockout Grimer actually. I guess I think that would have been an okay play as well. Um, I think we're still in a fine spot. Like nothing to worry about yet. There's an Ace Roller from our opponent. Once again, not sure why they didn't punch us last turn. <laughs> Here comes the Rock Ruff. Might be seen that um, counter gain coming down here with a Fighting Energy and the Lycan Rock. If I had to guess, that's what I would assume they would have. Otherwise, sending up the Rock Ruff here. Feels a little strange from our opponent, um, so I assume they must have counter gain Lycan Rock ready to go. There's the Lycan Rock. Let's we'll see if they got the counter gain. I would definitely consider welding a third time to this Blissey and have this Blissey pretty much close out the game because um, I can't one shot a Blissey. Mm, could get like one more fire on it. I think I'd want to get like one more fire on it. Yeah, there's the counter gain. There's the energy attachment. GX attack, knock out of Blissey. Yeah, like knock a lot more difficult to deal with than just the Zorks. The Zorks are pretty easy to deal with. Like rock on the other hand, um, quite the threat um, for taking knockouts. You can hit it with the GX attack, then Claw Slash also one shots us. Um, not too scary yet, but uh, if we don't want, if we don't take this thing out, it'll be the knocking out another Blissey, which will definitely get annoying. So definitely want to knock this thing out this turn, hopefully. Hopefully this thing does not live longer than a turn. Let's see though. All right, go Blissey. Yeah, I wouldn't mind weldering like plus one energy here to increase our chances of getting the knockout. Let's start with the Pokey Gear. There is the welder. I guess we could just go all out on this one though as well. Let's just go all out on it. We'd end up with five. Then I guess Lele plus DCE. Kakui could knock us out. Their Kakui is in their discard pile with their pal pad, but they could play two Kakui. Probably not. Yeah, so we're just gonna go for it here. We're just gonna all out on this guy here. Definitely just want to get this knockout. Don't want to have to worry about whiffing. So we need three of eight. Uh oh. Come on. All right, we need a reflip. Uh, yes, I would like a reflip. Just three of eight. Come on, this time. All right, starting off super hot. All right, you can slow down now. All right, that's enough. Eight, <laughs> eight heads on that one. 640 to the Lycan Rock. Yeah, so if they have Kakui DCE, they actually knock us out with Lele, which is like the reason I didn't want to commit that extra energy, but I, it's a lot for them to have. I think we'll be fine. Yeah, I think we'll be okay here. 
We'll see. They might have it. Uh-oh. Lele did make its way into the active. That has me a little scared. Uh, the Kukui is gone, and so is the Pal Pad. But do they play two Kukui? Now is the question. Uh, I guess they could. Um, and then that would definitely be scary for us. The second Kukui would actually make this... Uh, Super awkward because we are out of welder. Like I said, actually, like I even mentioned, I think a pal pad in here would be pretty good. There's a judge. That's not a Kakui. Okay, we're fine. Um, Lele does not one shot our Blissey. We can set up this extra Blissey on the bench and then we should just be good to roll from there. Uh, but yeah, thinking about adding a pal pad in here to get more welders, I think that would probably be a pretty good inclusion into this deck. Because um, running out of what's it called, I, I do find myself running out of it pretty consistently. Just out of um, out of the welders, pretty consistently. So I think a pal pad in here. Also, like we're a little bit low on Guzmas or light on Guzmas. Only two Guzma in the deck. You don't really need Guzma very aggressively in this deck. So maybe cut just one of the Guzmas and then uh, go with that. So there's the energy drive for 140. We could attach the triple to the active, uh, which I think would be a fine play. I think that would be a fine play because um, right now we'll have to hit three of five so yeah, let's just go with the triple lock it up and then we'll look for guzma plus triple on the bench blissey to just close out the game um go with a roast reveal would like to get down another chancy okay there's some cards to discard these two oh we are out of chancy all right well grab him to dene that's fine we have guzma but no triple yet um, a little worrying. It's fine. Powerful slap. Just need three. There we go. There's the three. Let's go all the way up to five. Why not? Six. Uh, no reflip here. Knockout on the Tapu Lele. Two more prize cards. There's a Chansey. There's a DCE. All right, so we can at the very least get the Chansey down and attach to the Blissey or the Chansey and then kind of wait to top deck. That is if our opponent... Uh, does uh, it does muck us? That's the only thing I'm kind of scared of here is the muck. There's a lichen rock. I don't think they're gonna be. That's interesting that they actually evolved that though, because I don't think there's anything to bring up on this turn. No, yeah, they don't bring up anything, but they still bench the rock off, so it still makes it like nothing really changes. No, they are out of their stretcher, but I guess they could be playing like a three-three lichen rock. Uh, well, that one evolved from. Where did the other lichen rock evolve from? There's no rock off in here, and there's no ditto in the lost zone. He must have stretched the rock rope back in. Okay. All right, so they can see pretty much their whole deck this turn, but they did use Lily, so that is their supporter. So we're going to be getting Riotus beating for the knockout. They're looking for a fighting energy, or DC, as they get it, uh, for that bench like in rock. Yep, they got that set up. So Claw Slash is going to be coming in hot next turn. We're going to have to deal with that. Um, shouldn't be too big of a problem, though. I think we're going to be still in a fine spot. Um, if we do... If they do not uh, get out the muck, we will definitely look for... Guzma up one of the bench guys, and then to Dene to dig for the triple acceleration energy, which should be in there, I think. We can check with the Pokey Gear before we do anything. Um, if not, we're definitely in trouble if, if our last triple acceleration energy is prized, but I'm pretty sure it's in the deck. And then we'll look to knock out the Rockruff or the Grimer. Yep, no muck um, from our opponent. Super good for us. Go ahead, just send up the Salazzle. We'd have to hit zero out of six flips, and we just need one head. So we'll check the Pokey Gear first. The triple is in there, and there's a fire crystal, so we can for sure draw our whole deck. Um, bench this guy. Guzma up the Grimer. Uh, send up the Blissey. And then we got the Dead Change to draw some cards. Do need the triple. There's the triple. So, yeah. Possible we whiff here. We need to get go zero on six already. Double heads, though. No reflip as we knock out the Grimer to close this one out. And we take a dub over... The Zorark deck. This is a pretty good matchup. Um, definitely played out that way overall. Got a little close there at the end, I guess. Uh, the Lycanroc definitely makes a huge difference in this matchup. Usually it's really awkward for them to take one-shots if they're playing like the Persian build or something like that. But it is the Lycanroc build, which means it's a little bit easier for them to get those one-shots in. Um, in certain scenarios but yeah guys that's gonna do it for this video on the Blissey deck hope you enjoyed it uh, if you're definitely looking for a fun not super competitive deck to try out recommend this one super fun it's decent in the current meta with a lot of gx pokemon definitely a, quite a bit worse against non-gx decks that can one shot it like something like a nag quag sounds like it'd be tough for the Blissey deck to deal with constantly maybe i'm wrong though the high hp of 160 is really nice though 
Uh, yeah, so that's all I got, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a like. If you enjoyed the content, be sure to subscribe. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Check out my live stream and social media links in the description below. Have a good day. Thanks for watching, and peace.